Hey folks, Technivers here. Today we have some exciting news. We're going to be taking a look at the newly released full version of Kira 4.8. Now we have taken a look at the beta already, but in case you missed it, stick around. We're going to go over the new features as well as some tips and tricks right here and now on the Technivorous channel. The Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Welcome one and welcome all. As I said, today we are looking at Kira 4.8. Now this is going to be a quick and easy video. We are simply going to cover some of the new features and take a look around real quick. The first thing you'll notice when opening Kira is that it is going to show you the release notes. So these are the new features. We're going to cover them each in depth here a little bit. And I will let you know right off the bat, one of the biggest things you're going to notice is this new arrange algorithm. So let's take a look. As you can see here, it says shout out to Prusa since they made the Libness 2D library for this and allowed a license change, which means that the algorithm that they're using to arrange models is based on a Prusa algorithm. So I'm going to open up, let's open this here and grab a couple of models and we're just going to grab some random stuff. I think we'll grab all of these pieces of this lightsaber here. This should be a pretty good idea. Um, so we have four, eight, 16, pe no, 14 pieces, and it starts dropping them in pretty quickly. You can see it's very fast, and one of the things that you'll notice is before when I would import all these pieces at once, it would do it, but it would set out a couple of them spread further apart, and anything else that wouldn't fit would be over here off of the build plate. As you can see, it arranges them in this nice, tightly packed formation, and it works really really well so in fact let's do a couple of experiments here don't need that don't need that um, I'm gonna show you that was just drag and drop the loading was quite a bit faster but let's take this we'll multiply it by say 12 and it did find a place for most of the models but I can also click here click arrange models and it will arrange most of them there's actually you can get all of these on the build plate um, model manipulation is one of those things that you just kind of have to work at in order to get the best orientation and since I'm obviously not printing these we're just kind of checking specs for how fast it'll move stuff okay so now we have a lot smaller base area let's take multiply this by 12 again and as you can see, it fit most of them on there. Now it should easily be able to fit this one as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can cram it in there. Oh, it took two out. Well, even at that, it's better than the old algorithm was and it's way faster. I can almost, just almost get that in there. I feel like if I took... So, way better algorithm. Thanks to Prusa for that. Obviously, it's not perfect yet it could use a little bit of tweaking but it's way better than the algorithm Kira was using before let's go I'm, I'm sure I can get these on here yeah I mean we could fit probably three or four more as well so that is a pretty nice addition let's go back up and check out our release notes here and you'll also notice it says when opening a project file pick any matching printer in addition to just matching the exact definitions. This is basically saying you can save a project before you would have to have the same printer settings and the same printer set up with the same name and now you don't have to so that's kinda cool. Um, warning message on profiles that were imported but not supported by the active configuration. That means if you have a profile that works for one printer and not another, say it's a dual extruding profile and you're trying to run on one, it will show an error which is kinda nice. Um, parts of the model below the build plate and parts of the model outside of the build volume. So let's take a look at that real quick. So if I take this guy and I drop it down here, let's get rid of some of these. You can see that the bottom of the model is now blue. Now that is below the build plate. It's not going to print that. That's a nice little visual warning that they've added in this version. And you can see it works pretty well. We're gonna take away a bunch of these and I'm gonna show you that other coloration that they added, which is basically just like this one here, um, but it's going to retain that color when it goes over to slice mode. So, not gonna slice. Yeah, it won't even let me slice it with it there. I was able to demonstrate this in the other video so you could see that 
there was an overhang that was off of the side and it shows up in a funky blue and yellow color. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out for, those new error colors. And I believe other than the definitions that they've added, that is pretty much it. Um, there is a iron, the topmost layer when in spiralized modes. So this is basically the topmost layer of the bottom. So when you're printing in spiral mode, it will print the base of the vase. Uh, this is going to iron that top layer before going into the actual spiralization of the outline. And allow scrolling through setting tooltips useful for some plugins. I don't have any plugins that really uses that, but I could see where it could be handy. As you can see, they have a ton of bug fixes, which is pretty nice. And I mean, Kira 4.8, they iterate pretty quickly. They've slowed down over the past couple months. And this is seemingly a pretty solid version. I haven't really had any issues. Uh, I did know one user who said he had some problems with his original install of this version on Windows 10. He then deleted it and reinstalled it and didn't have any problems after that. So I don't know if he had a registry error or if there was some other issue conflicting with his PC, but that's the only instance of that I've heard of. So definitely update your Kira. If you don't know how, you're going to want to go to help and go to, oh no, excuse me, it's in extensions and update checker. Click check for updates, and then you will get a notification right here. If there is a new version, you will be able to click that button. It will take you directly to the Kira website to download Kira 4.8. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you sticking around. I'm going to put a card up in the top corner here. Click on that if you'd like to learn more about Kira settings. I have a playlist called Kira settings in five minutes or less, in which each setting is explained in its own five-minute video, telling you how to use it, what it does, and what other settings it interacts with. So definitely give that a look, and we will see you in the next one. Well guys, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So. Definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.